But we gotta try we've gotta raise it up and try something. Okay. See this is why are we stuck? Oh, I need to come back more. We're stuck on the bolt. Yeah, there's this uh, fender bolt that's like... Okay. Well, you see, that was the problem, is that this thing... See that? Yeah. That's got to be back there. Yeah. See, they, 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 it got bent and then they slammed it and made it worse. Yeah. So I got to move that, what, one inch at least, right? Uh huh. All right. Well, the hood still wants to come back. This well, how much? Half an inch for sure, right there. Yeah. Well, that's. Like that? Yeah, something like that. Isn't that neat? Yes. There's a full set of these now. Full set when we fix the speedometer. Full set. <clears throat> Jazz has been putting in some work. Well, I I like restoring parts. You know how I am. Mm-hmm. Um. Man, look at these. I got both of these done. Look at that. Mm-hmm. And I got this one. Yeah. Is that the one that's up the trunk? Yeah. It came off the yellow trunk. Yeah. Very nice. Now, and I, look at the steering wheel it did. Yeah. Like new, huh? Yeah. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. So, okay. we're getting to where we got a lot of good parts. I got two sets of these. Oh, I, we have two that are dented. So I saved one to work on when you're here filming, if you like, to show you how to ease a dent out of one of these. Mm -hmm. Um, today I worked on the trunk. It actually doesn't smell like rat piss now. Yes. It looks cleaner than the last scene. We I took off, there, but see, say I pulled the wiring out of here? <clears throat> yeah. And got in there with a lacquer thinner. That will stop any smell. Mm -hmm. um, but look at this. Mm. And this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when this happened, see what it did? Bent the floor. Yeah. So I took all these out, they're bent. We got new ones, maybe, or we can straighten them. But we're gonna have to probably leave this and shim, but we can fix this. In place, or you want me to yeah. hold them here? Why don't you go ahead, you're probably, I'm gonna watch for it. Right. It just springs back. Try to come up, up. into the center more, yeah. Right there. Okay, hold on. Um, and just springs back. Yeah, keep doing what you were doing. He gives me a little hammer while he's... Oh yeah. Still spraying back and forth. Definitely better. Uh, better let's yeah. see if we can get down in there. Alright. Yeah. Alright, turn the steering saw. Oh, that's not taking it. More? Keep no. run the steering back all the way. All, all, the, way. all the way? Yeah. All the way. It's I'm hoping to find a spot where it'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. So far, no? Okay, now back. All right, come back the other way. Keep going. Yep. There we go. All the way back. I had to fit him off already. All the way back? I think so. Yeah, keep going the other way. Hey, 
It might be taking some. See, look at that. Yeah, there you go. Or no, that's that's a stop. That's not grease. Back. Chaz is not happy. See, watch out the back end. Don't let it drip oil on you. The I don't care about me. I'm the caring grease about is, your floor. The grease has separated in it, so yeah. I think. Go ahead, fast, all the way. It's going somewhere. <laughs> Did that feel any better? It, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Does it seem to be freeing up? It definitely. It's taking that, but where's it going? Okay, okay. Hold on. Now, I don't know what's the story. There's no fitting over here. Maybe this is like a steering box that's supposed to be filled with 90 weight? Well, this is a fill plug. Well, you know, that's the thing. Let's take it but, off. But this has got that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. You can lubricate the steering. All right, hold on now. I don't know what I'm going to... What's going to happen when I do this? <laughs> Maybe some kind of spring? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, there's a spring, all right. And a ball thing that loads it all. Turn it just a little. Let me see what happens. Okay. See, it's even looser now, I'll bet. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, see, that there's a point where it's too loose. Yeah. And it'll want to do this thing on the road, and that's what this is for. Uh, it just rubs like that? Should we to dump give... some grease in there? Well, that's what I'm thinking of doing. Just dump a pile of grease in Cool, we could put 90 weight in there. 90 weight. It's taking it. Move anything. her back and forth just a little. Okay, move it back and forth more. He likes it. He likes that 90 weight. We're getting some bubbles. That's that old school power steering. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're, we're getting some bubbles, so it's developing. There are seals. It's supposed to be 90 weight is what that's telling me. If you get bubbles, really? okay. cause it means there are seals. Yeah, yeah. Practicing for his driver's ad. Yeah. <laughs> I heard they make you put 90 weight snap. into the car. What's going on? It's, it's hitting this. And, and it's hitting this right here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hmm. What if we just put some RTV there and. Well. <laughs> now, this is introducing all kinds of ideas. Um, it would be really interesting to take a I don't remember shim material in the other one, do you? I don't, we didn't take it apart. You took it, you took it off, but I don't remember. Now that. that's just metal right there. Yeah. Where are those caps? Those castings. Parts guy, find them. Oh, look, you can park it now. <laughs> well, you got to get at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Um, How do we go about raising it? Just remove the whole bracket?
Well, you can buzz these two out, yeah. not easily. We can raise this up and try to just force some material in. But well, we want to clean it up. And, and how are we going to know? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. my vote is to get these bolts out, to pry under here, and. Pry bar or something. So we're trying to get the steering going. And by the way, we're wearing masks because uh, I was sick like a week ago. It wasn't Corona, you were sick. Yeah. We're just not trying to spread stuff. And plus it makes us look like real doctors. Working on a video. Yeah, we're trying to bring something back to life that's like a doctor. Chaz, remember last time I saw that there was a, the steering rack looked like it was crooked? Yeah. The, it was shimmed on this side. Yeah. And that side is not. Are we leaving it like that? Is there a reason why it's like that? Well, I suspect that we're going. when we start going back together, we're going to decide that there's a bunch of force and that this is less strain than just cramping the bolts down. Yeah. I don't know we're going to find that, but doesn't it seem well, likely? Well, I feel like this side needs a shim because it's so close to this. Yeah, well, that's what I felt. But, of course, this being this way makes that... Yeah, worse. True, true, true. If we could just pull this down like that, it'd be okay, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. See how it is? Yeah. That would be my choice. And it looks straight with the frame rail, so no sham. Hmm. <laughs> I if, vote no sham. Unless we somehow decide that there's a bunch of strain when we're tightening the bolts. Yeah. How about that? That looks good. Here we are, before and after. See the difference? Yeah, that's why it is impossible to restore a car without a wire wheel. <laughs> because you have to restore the hardware or you got crap. Yes, yeah. I don't like this. The mechanic's got to put this together and how's he going to tell how tight it is if it's some bound up rusty thing like that? Yeah. He needs this. Yeah, because you might just get to the rust and you think you're tight, yeah. but you're not. You're just stuck on the rust. Yeah. <laughs> Lesson of the day. Yep. I don't like this, dude. Some, some of that gasket stuff is still stuck on there. We gotta scrape that off. Oh my gosh. The problem, it looks like it's really stuck on there. Yeah. This one is completely gone. It's nice and smooth. That's good. That this one? Not looking the best. Kinda curious to see how Chaz is gonna handle that. Probably the machine that's over there spinning right now. It's probably gonna be like flame throw. <laughs> torch. Torch it. Uh, material stuck to it. Just scrape it off with like a blade or something. Well, first of all, let's try to. I thought you were gonna say let's let's heat it up. <laughs> <laughs> that's the la that's the last thing. <laughs> First, we'll try to defeat it with chemistry a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought yeah. we were going to get the flame something. Black or thinner? Yes. So, ever since Chaz showed me how to remove Bondo off a car with the flame, you know what I've seen? I've seen a guy at a body shop where they're sanding, there's a mountain of, uh, of a Bondo, like a flame. Uh, what he does was, I think he throws it up and lights it, and it's like a, <laughs> like a firework. Yeah. It, almost any kind of dust is amusing if you light it. Yeah. That's why uh, people get blown up in sawmills and different stuff like that. That's why Chaz's uh, shop is fireproof. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when you're going to have an open flame in here. <laughs> Water brush over there? Huh? Huh? Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, let me get that. There you go. This is what I used to brush my teeth every morning. Oh, really? Yeah. Did it sound as bad as that? Yeah, it sounds just like that. Yeah. So those did work. 
Well, one of them, the other one I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to put in there. Here, I made you this. Yes. I like it. So I'm using the longer bolts where we're shimming it, and then the shorter ones we'll use up here, I guess. Yeah, I'll get you some longer ones or, if you want. Because I think we need one more, right? Um, now, the, which way is the bolt holes? Up, like that? Or like this? Uh, down. No, they're like... Like this? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, then there's lots of room for that washer. together a lot better yeah for sure uh, I probably shouldn't tighten these and get them pretty close and then well, tighten we'll start the, the start the top ones yeah let me listen to this one because yeah. I'll be the judge of that it doesn't make sense. oh yeah that is true well, why shim one side? You see my glass? Well, it's kinda. I don't like how that's going. Is this a different thread? Yours started? <laughs> What's your problem? Uh, um, no okay, problem. let me see the bolt. Let me see the bolt. We can run a tap down through that frame too if we, if we need to. Oh, this is no good. It's junk. See that? <laughs> you gave me a junk bowl. Well, and then you're asking me what the problem maybe, is. Maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> you notice how I was using that? When you use this, this you get ten times the power that you get when you're spreading your force out over a big area. Yeah. So if you want to move a specific point, you use that end. Two out of four. Halfway there. Halfway. Okay. It doesn't matter if there's a little excess, because it sands off real easily.
good. Wow. Oh, that's going to be... New dash. That's going to be that excellent. Is nice. This is really nice having this. I need that leg room. Yeah, that's... <laughs> knee room. Yeah. Nice car. Uh -huh. um, now, if we put the switches here, they're, they're getting past the... A better pattern would probably be something like that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Something that keeps them in the center, mm -hmm. away from this knee. Yeah. So two at most. Or we could do one, two, three, and have another one up there. Or we could put them up high. If there's room. Maybe that would be better. I like how it might because if we do three and then one Those mags, but I also have the original. Yeah. And the hubcaps. Yeah. I actually like this look better myself, but. Yeah, that looks good. They're both good. Yeah. It's a beauty. You killed a bug on your hood over there. On your drive. Mm -hmm. You drive too fast. We gotta get to this thing. We got a lot of work to do. But the transmission is in. The new transmission and the engine gasket kit is in. Look at that little toy. <laughs> Where's the rest of the gasket? <laughs> Where's the other one? <laughs> Wait, so this well, is Well, I guess it's thing? the right stuff. Is it? Um, if it's not. Jacob. Well, that's not me. That's not my fault. It says 1275. Yeah. Lower gasket set A. Okay. New transmission. Then you rebuild. That's interesting that this bolt is longer. Stud. Yeah. That's the little things. Great right, major twelve seventy five. It's ribbed. That's yeah. what ribbed the knees. That's what they mean by ribbed. Yeah, that's the good one. That's the good one. It's kind of modeled the way they clean this aluminum up. Yeah. But it, it probably just wire wheeled it. it that's it. Quite a bit of effort, it looks like, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I gotta be honest, though, it looked better on pictures. You know? Well, it... it but that's just, I guess, how it looks, because of the... That's how it's made. I, I, think, really the, I think the guy has a whole bunch of them, and he's got one picture he uses. And, yeah, I think so. You know? Yeah. But... Well, as long as it works, you know? As long as it's, it's got all the new parts he was saying, and it was very reasonable money, so... Yeah. That's that. Yeah. And this is going to be beautiful green, original green. Just see this original sort of military yeah. looking green? Yeah. But that's yeah. the original color. So that will be the color we use throughout. It's a shame. I like black better. It's easier to work with, but it's okay. We'll put up with this. Red and green. <laughs> It doesn't look like we did much today, but we got the steering situated. It had play. We put some uh, shims in there, and everything's tight here. And also, the cool thing is, the original dash came out, and this is going to be the new custom dash. Chaz custom <laughs> dash. It's all obviously going to be wrapped and uh, stuff, so... And we got, oh. seven, we got seven plugs in. Yeah, the plugs are in. So all of these side lights are getting deleted, front and back. And the backup lights. And the backup lights, because yeah, yeah. Uh, nobody wants those. And the antenna. So, very cool. It's uh, slowly, but it's going the right way. And did you show, oh, did well, you I gotta show, show the grill. Day? We gotta show the grill. Our new chrome grill we're gonna make, and we're gonna custom mount it so it's out. Yeah, flush. Uh, it's supposed to be. That's nice. Supposed to 
to be in there like that. Which is yeah. okay. Yeah. But we're gonna but we don't want okay. We want okay, yeah, we nice. Want the we're gonna put it out there. Yeah, it's gonna be flushed with the really gonna bottom. bed the ball. Wow. That's nice. That is. And last time we fixed this boo-boo dent. So I think next time we work on this, it's gonna be sitting on the wheels. And uh, yeah, we will be an, we'll be emphasizing getting the, this uh, hub spec on the front here. Yeah. Um, we don't need to disassemble the rear brakes right now. You yeah. know, if you're gonna if we're gonna paint. Yeah. We don't need to. Yeah. So we can leave that together. Okay. That's cool. And everything under here is gonna have to come out since we're doing a color change. Yes, within reason. The steering and the shocks will have to be taped, but yeah, but most yeah, of but like the wiring, you st you wanted to uh, yeah, delete a bunch the of wires. Yeah, wiring's got to come out. All the brake lines, all this electrical stuff, all this brake lines. Yep. And we'll put and we'll take out these two things. I guess we'll go ahead and figure out how to get them out of there. Yeah. Because we can't have them ugly like that. And the hot, what is it? that? Oh, that must be the bolts right there. Yeah, two bolts right there. Yep. Yeah. 